harvesting fruits of this amazing and potent medicine. And uh, we're going to combine these with the leaves that we're going to pick next winter. And then we're also going to pick in the fall, we're going to pull out some of the roots and we're going to combine them all three together. That's traditional Chinese medicine. That's the way they use lyceum or goji berry. Anyway, these varieties that grow out here in the Arizona desert are limited in number. There's about 15 different varieties out here. In Asia, there's about 85 different varieties. But this is the same thing. It's basically the same taste, it's the same size, it's got the same properties. Fresh like this, they're about 10 times more potent than the dried. It's like chess. If you play chess, you know that the pawn has one move, and in certain cases, two moves. That's like lettuce, right? Real simple, basic. Um, really powerful foods would be like, for example, a bishop or um, something like a, like the rook on the board. That would be something like garlic. But a superfood is something like the queen that has mm -hmm. all the moves. Mm -hmm. And the goji berry, for example, is a complete protein source, contains 18 amino acids, one of the highest antioxidant foods in the world, contains ormus in the polysaccharides, is one of the highest sources of betaine of any food in the world in general is one of the easiest foods to eat for all age groups and all different types of people. So that's a big factor too is like, yeah, it might be a great food, but how easy is it to eat? Well, this is totally, you know, tastes great. Mm -hmm. Like raisins, you know, better than raisins. Uh -huh. The main thing in the goji berry that really has the magic is in the the bitter sugars that are present. And there's about 33%, probably in these goji berries, is about 50% of the sugars is in a polysaccharide form, which is a very complex sugar. It looks like this bush does. Like, whereas a normal like strain of glucose or piece of glucose molecule looks like this, would look like that. Whereas a polysaccharide looks like this. And hung up on those polysaccharides, like these goji berries are hung up on this bush, are the ormus elements, the, the magical elements that are out here in this desert in the basalt rock. So this plant picks up those elements and it's in the polysaccharide. Now the polysaccharide is resistant to heat so it will actually survive if you boil this stuff down. Right. You don't have to do that, you just eat them raw like we're doing them and have the best day ever.